Yeah, I get our view as well. I'll give it a bit of a dust here. Trying to bring it up slowly on the variac. Got everything set up. I got the ballast here. 10 amps is a bit much, but I'm going to slowly ramp it up and bring it back down and fluctuate the voltage and monitor this filter capacitor if it gets warm. And the valves look all good. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Oh, I found my first white cap. Look at this one. It's going on the air. <laughs> that looks like the. Ooh. <laughs> I wonder why it's gone to air. 6AL3, I might have to borrow one out of my Pi, W1A1, my old Pi TV. Definitely gone to air. Yep, the getters all turned white, that valve's gone. Um, that goes at a flyback, so yeah. This would work, but without that valve working, there won't be any um, high voltage. Ah, oh, damn you, Max. Crapping everywhere. <coughs> ah! Stepped on this bloody crap. So I had a bit of backyard like this small. All the Max will shit everywhere. It'll bugger. A dirty dog. <laughs> that was a good thing about the farm. Max would go crap out in the block, out of nowhere. And it would, you know, it would, he knew where to crap. But he, here, he's got no choice with the crap. What we're gonna bloody walk and step in his crap all the time. Bloody hell, Max! Oh, I got that light on charge. So, yeah, I need to get that TV back like hooked up here. Sit it up here. So it's on zero. Uh, Ambellus already. TV on. Yep, that's on. Volume up a little bit, at least halfway, so I can hear if the audio comes. That's all protected, so I'm scratching cabinet. And I gotta put some washers under here, and longer screws and, and, and nuts. So that um, this bolt's back on. Then we can wind this up in the family uh, now. Just set that camera light off. Hundred volts. My little light's in the way, so I'm not gonna see much. I'm glowing anyway. Then it'll still glow, but it's stuffed. Once air is inside, um, once the air gets inside of a valve, that's it. It's gone. Especially when you turn it on, it oxidizes everything. So, so yeah, that valve obviously gonna have to be replaced. I'm just gonna have to borrow one out of my pie. Yep, we've got some lighting filaments. Yeah. Hundred and twenty volts. Yeah, we've got some glowing. Two hundred and eighty. Check this capacitor. Yeah, still cold. Two hundred. My arm. The capacitor's obviously a lot. Yeah, it's not getting warm. I'll ramp it up and down just to give it a chance to reform if it does get warm. So everything but the flyback's working because of this valve. Is what's, what's driving the flyback, so... If I place that valve, I think we'll have high voltage. And we're good, we'll get a picture on this. That sounds promising. Eh, capacitor not getting warm. Uh, everything's lining up. But only way if you see if a valve isn't lighting up. That'll only tell you the valve filament's broken or the circuit's broken in the filament there. Audio's coming up. Excuse the bloody hiccups. I hate the damn things. I thought the caps are alright. I'm not getting warm. So until I place this valve, I'm stuck. I was not going to have any picture. I'll keep it on this big valve there. The six. CM5 is not red plating, that's alright, not under any stress. Yeah. So yeah, this has to be replaced. Oh yeah, not even getting warm, that's good. Oh my god, that smell, vintage alert, oh yum. <laughs> Uh, hey! 
me. That valve's holding me back. I got nothing on the screen. Now that's good. It's working quite well. I'm not getting warm. On zero, no heat, bit of electric, no heat. Six CM five is all right. That's not getting hot. That's just normal temperature. But man, that smells good. I right, bypass the variac now. Unplug that variac and just go straight on the mains. Yeah, not very warm. That's a good sign. That's why I like doing that, because of the ballast. I know it may be good too, but with this ballast, if the capacitor had any troubles, this will be getting hot, starting to get real warm. Then you have a little bit of hum in the audio. So, since there was no hum in the audio, this never got very warm. It has a tiny bit with the load of the TV, but that'll get run cooler. That should drop in temperature, or in other words, drop down in current going through this because this is reforming in theory. Yeah, that's not even warm. If you watch uh, Shang H66's video, videos, there's a good good trick. Because if you maintain monitor the temperature in the main filter cap, if you get a little bit of hum, you got an air meter or something in series, you can monitor the current. If it drops and drops and drops and the hum sort of goes away and stays gone away, the uh, capacitor is reformed. Alright, let's go uh, straight on the mains now. Unplug that. Oh, bloody hell, Max, bloody shit stinks. Put that over here. Shift that over there. I'm not really going to charge soon, that light. <laughs> straight in rush. Now I'm straight on the mains. Monitor this capacitor. Now that it's not on the variac anymore. Hey, it's not getting warm at all. Well, that's good. Stone cold. Good sign. Yeah, touching it's the only way I can tell the temperature, but you just gotta know what you're doing. Normally, you should use an infrared camera for this. They're expensive. Yeah, capacitors are alright. Ballast is getting mildly warm. It's got it's actually cooler to touch. That's a good sign. So yeah. Can't get a picture unless I replace that valve, so I get in my container on there. Next time I go there I'll grab the valve. But the smell coming from this. <laughs> oh my god, that smells good. Vintage TV aroma. I love it. A bit of limitation needed. That work. Oh, that could have tuned and moved, so it's not seized. Watch the little stepping. Thanks to you, Max. Capacitor. Oh, that's good. Not even hot or warm. This long shaft goes to our contrast, and that feels kind of flimsy and twisty because it's sort of way back here. Oh, uh, definitely not high voltage. You can't hear a high pitch one either, so it's definitely that valve. Anyway. Well, it's killed this valve. The filament's connected now. And yeah. There's air in there. Then you turn it on. 
kick him a lot up, look at that. Chen is definitely working. I don't hate, I can smell and feel it's from the valves, the filaments. That's gone, that valve. So if I do this, there's insulator screwdriver, he can touch the uh, grid caps. No spark. So definitely no flyback um, action at all. Plus you'd hear it anyway. So yeah. Yeah, that's our culprit. Just gonna change a valve by the looks of it. Tune is working good. Oh, I've... Looks like all I gotta do is replace that valve and get my um uh, RF modulator out. And ready to go. A lot's causing some interference. A lot of causes interference. Info, uh, uh, LED light, the driver inside this is interfering with a TV. Got vertical hold, tone is a middle one. Ah, no, look at that, that is good. Oh, I'm impressed, she works quite well. Just that one valve has to be replaced. Alright. Oh, Oh, that smells good. Only a true vintage television collector knows this vintage smell I'm talking about. Oh, that smells good. Love it. Stone cold, and the transformer's on the video. That'd be the, uh, I think that's a vertical transformer, I think. Comes in here to the deflection coil. Yeah, it seems that'd be easier to fix than I thought. Bonus. Must have been, it's not a very high voltage flyback either. Look how thin that lead is. It's quite a thin lead for a um, flyback in it. Anyway, I can... Uh... Huh. I'm impressed. Just got to change that valve. Damn it, I slipped on it again. <laughs> anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.